second and final section. I know there are some of you who are looking forward to the 4x400 four meter relay, which will be the final track event of the Esther Maynard Zone. And if I was to select a relay of all the relays, there's nothing like a 4x400 four meter relay. Always exciting. And I believe it's because it gives it's, it's time, there's enough time for anything to happen. A team can be fourth and move up to first. Teams can be first, drop back, it all depends. But always excitement. And here at BSAC, there's always excitement. Of course, the Lodge School has been tagged as the, the boys team to have won the most 4 by 4s in the history of BSAC. The, the, the jury is out on the girls. So the under 17 boys, 200 meters, final section here. Deshaun Howell of St. Leonard's boys in lane two. In lane three, Julian Ford of Harrison College. Lane four, Laquan Trotman of the Christchurch Foundation. Lane five, Kamal Risbrook of St. George Secondary. Lane six, Gerard Bartlett of Parkinson Memorial. And lane seven, Leandre Walker of the Allen School. So the runners now getting into their blocks. Ger Gerard Bartlett of Parkinson Memorial will not be starting this one. A good start. Howell, Ford, Trotman, Risbrook, and Walker. So Trotman of Christchurch Foundation. And here comes Julian Ford of Harrison College. That's the battle there. Ford of Harrison College might have a slight lead. He does. He looks around. Oh, my goodness. This is poor running. Some poor running from Julian Ford. That's all I can say. Poor running. The athletes need to remember that the top four are advancing to the next round automatically also this is a meet in itself so he might have lost out on some valuable points for harrison college by slowing down at the finish regardless of the event you should always finish always finish strong so we are ready for the under 15 girls 200 meters already there now these girls not using any starting blocks so it will be i think we will be flowing from here now that none of these age categories need to set up blocks so we'll be going really quickly the first of three keelan padmore of st george secondary in lane two in lane three will be zanisha carrington of alma paris in lane four marielle corbin of combamere Lane 5, Ashley Jordan of Springer Memorial. Lane 6, Shaniqua Hines of Ellerslie. And Lane 7, Haley Cullimore of the Allen School. The under-15 girls record, 24-54, set by Tristan Evelyn of Springer Memorial in 2011. 24.54. So those girls are off. And Ashley Jordan of Springer Memorial out the turn first. And she comes into the straightaway being challenged by Marielle Corbin of Combermere. So it's Corbin of Combermere, Jordan of Springer Memorial. And ah, Marielle Corbin. She will take this one. Jordan of Spring Memorial in second and third to Haley Cullimore of the Allen School. And of course, all these young ladies will have to await the result of the three time finals to determine the overall winner. For sure, Marielle Corbin of Common Mare, victorious there. Corbin, 
second section already on the line. We'll give you those lane assignments immediately. Janae Jordan of Harrison College in lane two. Aaliyah Cox of Grantley Adams in three. Kyra Sobers of the Alma Paris in lane four. Lalani Haddock of Christchurch Foundation in lane number five. In lane six, Tamia Holder of the Allen School. And lane seven, Sarah Lawrence of Parkinson Memorial. Lalani Haddock was fourth in this event last year with a time of 25.54. All the other young ladies placing in the top three in 2015 have now moved up into the under 17 category. So the athletes have been moved back off the start line. And we're just waiting to see what will occur here. But so far, we can tell all the athletes were moved back. I don't know exactly what the starters are doing over there, but we thought that the race was about to start. Then we just saw the athletes being moved back beyond the start line. Again, the under 15 girls, we're into the second of three time finals. Seems to be some kind of problem over there. Two, two Harrison College girls. And... Maybe they need some verification of which one is supposed to run where. It should be quite easy if they have a start list over there. They can just look at the start list and identify the athlete's number and know exactly which athlete should be in this particular section. Still trying to figure out the issue over there. Under 15 girls, 200 meters. That's coming up next. So we see a change.
I believe so seems like whatever the issue was has been resolved and in lane two will be Janae Jordan of Harrison College lane three Aaliyah Cox of Grantley Adams lane four Kyra Silbers of Alma Paris lane five Lalani Haddock of Christchurch Foundation lane six Tamia Holder of the Allen School, Lane 7, Sarah Lawrence of Parkinson Memorial, and Lane 8, Sadia Russell of Harrison College. That's the lane assignments for the second of three time finals in the under 15 girls 200 meters. So we have a good start there. Six persons starting here. And Lilani Haddock of the Christchurch Foundation School with a quick start. Really good start for Lilani Haddock. Into the straightaway already. It's all Lilani Haddock as expected. Haddock was fourth in this final last year. The others have all gone up a division. So Haddock, easy winner. On the outside is Sadia Russell of Harrison College. So again, we have to await the overall to see how these athletes will do. The top four will be advancing. And we're getting ready for our third and final section for the under 15 girls, 200 meters. After the under 15 girls, we're going to the under 15 boys, the under 13 girls, and the under 13 boys. So our lane assignments here quickly, Jada Smith-Padmore of Combermere, Jada Smith Padmore of Combermere in lane two. Lane three, Kemba Bob Gibson of the Ursuline Convent. In lane four, Cheyenne Catlin of Grantley Adams Memorial. Lane five, Julia Denny of Christchurch Foundation. Keep your eyes on Julia Denny. She's one to watch here. In lane six, Zaria Graves of Springer Memorial. Lane seven, Jemiah Best of St. George Secondary. And lane eight, Asia Foster of Ellerslie Secondary. So they're off, the under 15 girls, 200 meters, our third section. And Jalea Denny of the Christchurch Foundation School in the middle of the field. She's doing all the early running now. Jalea Denny and Zaria Graves of Springer Memorial. So it's all Jalea Denny, Graves of Springer Memorial. And taking that third spot would be Kathleen of Grantley Adams Memorial. So that quickly completes the under 15 girls 200 meters. And coming up next, we should see the under 15 boys.
In the under 15 boys, there are three sections again. Three sections for the under 15 boys. In lane two of the first section, Daquan Clark of Ellerslie. Lane three, Jeffrey Mapp of the Graydon Seeley Secondary. Lane four, Jacoby Brathwaite of Alma Paris. Lane five, Ayalfa Ned of St. George Secondary. Lane six, Malachi O'Donnell Small of Parkinson Memorial. In lane number seven, Matthew Ford of Combermere. And lane eight, Akil Howell of the Aline School. We're expecting a good run here from Akil Howell of the Aline School in lane number eight. So there they go. Ayalfa Ned starting well for St. George Secondary in lane number five. And on the outside is Howell and Ford. Matthew Ford of Commonmere School and... Akil Howell of the Allen School on the outside. On the inside there from Ellersley is Daquan Clark. But Akil Howell, the winner. Akil Howell, doing, Allen School doing quite well here. Clark of Ellersley. And Mapp of Graydon Seeley in there as well. Matthew Ford of Combermere. The second section. Runners already in position. Lane number one, Daniel, Daniel Herewood of Graydon Seeley. In lane two, Kyle Yearwood of Harrison College. Lane three, Anthony Evelyn of the Ursuline Convent. In lane four, Matthew Brown of the Allen School. Lane five, Anthony Allen of the Christchurch Foundation. Lane six, O'Shea Brathwaite of the St. Leonard's Boys. In lane seven, Malachi Gill of Grantley Adams. And lane eight, Jason Best of St. George Secondary. So that's the lineup. They're off to a good start. The under 15 boys, 200 meters, second section, Herewood, Yearwood, Evelyn, Brown, Aileen, Brathwaite, Gill, and Best. And on the inside, Daniel Herewood of Graydon Seeley with a hell of a lead here. Daniel Herewood of Graydon Seeley, winner by far. Second going to Kyle Yearwood of Harrison College. So Daniel Herewood looking to be in that top four to automatically advance to the semifinals of the 200 meters. Remember, the top four from each zone equaling eight plus the next 16. Total of 24 athletes will be advancing to the semifinals of the 200 meters. So our third section in under 15 boys 200. In lane one, Khalil Roberts of Harrison College. Lane two, Ori Edwards of Ellerslie. Lane three, Callis Miners of the Ursuline Convent. In lane four, Damar Herewood Elcock of St. Leonard's Boys. Lane five, Gabriel Clark of Grantley Adams. Lane six, Jean-Pierre Hines of the Christchurch Foundation. In lane seven, Deshaun Wilson of Alma Paris. And lane eight, Mikhail Carvalho of Combermere. Carvalho should be one to watch here.
on the starter's orders, and they're gone. Roberts, Edwards. Let's see how Carvalho will shape up on the outside there for Combermere. And in lane number two, Edwards of Ellerslie. So it's Carvalho and Edwards. And coming real quick is Hines of Christchurch Foundation. Carvalho on the outside. Edwards on the inside. Carvalho wins it from Edwards. And Hines of Christchurch Foundation finishing in third. And that's how the under-15 boys will go out as we get ready for our final age category, the under-13s, under-13 girls, followed by the under-13 boys. Three time finals coming up for the under-13 girls. And we can give you those lane assignments now. In lane two for the first section, Jadik Edwards of Combermere. Lane three, Amani Kernan of Harrison College. Lane four, Rishan Herbert of Springer Memorial. In lane five, Destiny Chandler of Parkinson Memorial. Lane six, Ashe Augustine of Ellerslie. And lane seven, Chloe Dupre of the Aline School. The first of three sections in the under 13 girls 200 meters. And of course, by the end of the 200 meters, that will be the last track events. There's still some field events in progress, but soon we'll be able to announce who the division champions are, who the Victor and Victrix Ludorum will be for the Esther Maynard zone. And of course, everyone will be eager to know who will be crowned champions of the Esther Maynard zone, girls and boys. So the under 13 girls 200 meters, first section off to a good start. Seeing Rishan Herbert of Springer Memorial. Coming out the turn first and into the straightaway. Rishan Herbert of Springer Memorial. Doing well. Herbert still holding on. And Kernan of Harrison College finishing in second. And Chloe Dupre of the Allen School finishing in third. So a good run there from Herbert of Springer Memorial. And the under 13s is where all eyes will be in terms of the continuation. The physical education teachers, coaches, all eyeing the under 13s, I'm sure. Some are present at Knapsack as well, looking to see where the action is and those who will be coming to, to the secondary schools next year. So a lot of scouting taking place. In our second section of the under 13 girls, 200 meters in lane two, Aisha Watts of the Allen School. Lane three, Akiza Pollard of Springer Memorial. Lane four, Janae Goodman of the Christchurch Foundation. Lane five, Sakina Austin of St. George Secondary. Lane six, Melissa Gaskin of the Ursuline Convent. Lane seven, Rebecca Simpson of Harrison College. And lane eight, Nia Addison of Grantley Adams Memorial. Under 13 girls chasing the record of 2562 which was set by Christana McConney of Queens College back in 2011. And, and she is one of those who lots was expected of and just disappeared. Christana McConney, loads of talent, not just in running, but also in the long jump and just disappeared off the scene. So the under 13 girls, 200 meters, second section. Seeing Goodman, Janae Goodman of Christchurch Foundation into the straight, being challenged by Pollard of Springer Memorial. So it's Janae Goodman of the Christchurch Foundation School holding on, and she will take it 
Pollard of Springer Memorial finishing in second. Aisha Watts of the Allen School in the business as well. So, as we said, we, we look forward to those on the 13s who do well to see them continue up the ranks. Unfortunately, some do not as much talent as they possess. And we just spoke about one Chris, Christana McConney. What an outstanding athlete she was. While at primary school, that young lady jumped over five meters in the long jump. Indeed, at that point, that was outstanding, but can't tell you what became of her. We're ready for a third section in the under 13 girls, 200 meters. In lane two, Janiqua Springer of St. George Secondary. Lane three, Ariel Beard of Graydon Seeley. Lane four, Jade Carrington of the Ursuline Convent. In lane five, Gabrielle Yearwood of the Christchurch Foundation. Apparently a favorite here. In lane six, Chanel Sandiford of Parkinson Memorial. Lane seven, Camille Lee Jilks of Ellerslie. And lane eight, Tawana McLean of the Grantley Adams Memorial. We're off to a good start here. Final section for the under 13 girls. And Gabrielle Yearwood of Christchurch Foundation into the straightaway. Eating up the track. Gabrielle Yearwood of Christchurch Foundation going all the way. She's going to take it second to Beard of Graydon Seeley, Sandiford of Parkinson Memorial finishing in third. So two good runs there coming from competitors from the Christchurch Foundation, Springer Memorial in there as well as we complete the under 13 girls 200 meters. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how fast the times were to determine the top eight and to determine the points. And talking about points, we haven't received any points yet, I believe. Um, I'll get one of these guys to go and collect some points for us so we can have a point standing. The overall points for girls and boys. Let us know how we are shaping up coming into the relays. There are just three time finals coming up for the under 13 boys. After that, all the attention will be on the four by fours believe we'll have a little break between then before we get into the four by fours so the under 13 boys the first section in lane two Ram Ramiro Dates of Combermere in lane three Caleb Messiah of Harrison College keep your eyes on that one good lad in lane four Jamarco Gill of St. George Secondary lane five Arlington Alderson of Grantley Adams Memorial in lane six Joshua Whitehall of the Christchurch Foundation Lane 7, Ashan Callender of St. Leonard's Boys. And Lane 8, Shamari Agard of the Ellerslie Secondary. So all lined up, just awaiting the starter signal to get on their marks. So the first of three sections here. And again on the eastern side, some students there. Springer Memorial present. Seeing some, some great and seely uh, students today, but we're back.